Hello everyone, my name is CodeCreator and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to make a mass DM to everybody in your server. This is also going to be an update on how to add your bot. First going to add the bot and how to add the bot to your server. And then we're going to show and then I'm, and then I'm going to show you how to mass DM people, which is it means it DMs everybody whatever message you want on that specific server. Let's begin. Start by op going to the website discord.com slash developers slash applications or discord developer portal. We're going to start, you're going to start by doing a new application and then we're going to name it code creator video as a test. You're going to go to create and here's your bot. So we're going to name it code creator video. Uh, we'll get rid of the, uh, the exclamation mark. We'll click save changes. Then you can add, you can add a, you can add a logo or anything you want, but we're going to keep it as this, but you're going to want to go to bot. And you're going to want to click add a bot and click yes to it and then a wild bot appears so this is this is your bot so here's code creator video bot we're going to get rid of the spaces like that so it's one name save changes and then what you're going to want to do is is you can again you can uh, set the image for what you what you want your bot to be so for uh so you we're going to leave it as this but you can add it to whatever you want we're going to click on click to reveal token but I'm not going to actually click on that because obviously, because that's going to, I don't want to leak a token or anything because you don't, make sure you don't give this token away to anyone. Don't give this token to anyone unless you have fully trust with them. So you can, I'm just going to click the copy button and then we're going to move on to OAuth2. And then you're just going to click on bot right down there, copy the link and you're going to want to paste it in a new tab. That will bring it in here. So here's the bot. This is your bot. So you're gonna select a server, and we're gonna do the the coding test server. Authorize. I'm not a robot. And boom. Now if we go to our Discord, boom. Look at this. Code creator video has been added to our server. Now obviously we're gonna want to have it online, and we're gonna want to give it some code. So we're gonna go to a website called Repel.it. Link will be in the description. And you're going to want to start by going to, you're going to want to make a profile, go to my repls, just click on new repl, and then we're going to, we're using Python as our language, and, we're, and then we can name it, you can name uh, your repl whatever you want, we're just going to do a coding video, because this is a video, this is just a tutorial, create repl, and boom. It'll, it'll start it up, and boom, now we have a main.py, which stands for Python, uh, we have our code here so now we're going to want to grab our code and then we're gonna start we're, I mean, I, if you guys want again before the video starts though if you guys want mm, uh, the code but you don't want to type it in it's uh, you don't want to type it all in there will be a link in the description where you can copy and paste it into here and that will give you all the code right away all you're gonna do, do, do though is add your token all right on line one you're going to want to do import discord on line two, you're going to want to put from discord.ext import commands. Then you're going to want to enter and then go to line four and put bot equals commands dot bot bracket command underscore prefix equals brackets. Uh, no, not brackets parentheses test exclamation mark. We're just going to do test. So, so because this is a test bot, you can put any command prefix you want. Then go to line six. So by doing the enter key and then doing class bot data with a colon, do an enter and then do two tabs. And you're going to want to do def underscore in it underscore uh, two on uh, def underscore underscore def space underscore underscore in it underscore underscore brackets self in the brackets you put self and then you put a colon at the end. Then tap it again and do self dot welcome underscore channel equals none. Then do enter and then do self at point self dot goodbye underscore channel equals none. Do two enters and then do self dot reaction underscore role equals none. Enter self dot reaction e underscore message equals none. Press enter, go back to the beginning of the code and do bot data space equals space bot data brackets. Do two enters and then do at bot event at bot dot event 
async def on underscore ready with two brackets and then a colon. Do a tab with an enter key and then do print with brackets say, saying your bot is online with a smiley face. <laughs> you don't have to do the smiley face, but that's what we did. And then you have to make sure you add the parentheses in there. Do enter twice and do at bot dot command with two brackets. Do enter async death dm underscore all with brackets saying ctx comma space dot ctx comma space star comma space args equals none with a closing bracket and a colon. Do enter if args space exclamation mark equals space none then add a colon do another tab and then do members space equals space ctx dot guild dot members do an enter without a tab do for member in members with a with a colon at the end do a tab and, a, and an enter you do try with the colon do another tab do two tabs and an enter and then do await space member dot send and brackets in the brackets you put args enter you do print and then in the brackets you do two parentheses and then you do a dot at the top with a sp with two pluses in between args and then an ending and then an ending parenthesis with another dot do a space two and then do a colon with an ending quotation mark plus member dot name in a closing bracket do two tabs no no not two tabs do two enters and then tab back do accept colon press tab and enter and then do print with brackets saying couldn't send with the dot and then do plus space args space plus space with a dot space two and then a colon and then a punctuation mark plus member dot name with a colon at the end then do three or two enters and then do and then tab all the way back not all the way back but close to the back do else with a with a colon do three tabs and then enter you do await ctx dot channel dot sent and then in the brackets you put a message was not provided do two do one do two enters and then do all the way go back all the way back to the beginning and then you're going to do bot dot run with brackets and then in where it says token you're going to put your token that you got from the beginning of the video from discord developer portal in there and that will specify what bot goes online all right so then when you're finished the code and you have everything correct again there will be a github link in the description if you want to copy the code so that way you'll get nothing wrong. When you're finished the code, you're gonna go up to the top and press run. That's going to go through a whole bunch of stuff that is kind, it, it's a bit confusing. That not under, it, It's a bit confusing, but if you get all this white text, you know you did it right. And it says your bot is ready. Go to your general and look. Now our code creator video bot is online and is ready for action. Now, if you want it to do the mask, the mask, dm i already have i already it also dms it dms everyone on there even the owner of the server so what you're going to do you're going to grab your uh prefix so we did al with an exclamation mark that's uh i changed the prefix but that's it, it can be any prefix you want so we're, we're going to go to the command we're going to put the command in general you're going to type in al exclamation mark because that's our prefix and then you're going to want to do dm underscore all and then you're going to want to add a message so let's just say hey there uh we're going to put this is a test message press enter and then now look at this we got a, it'll dm everyone in the server and we got a dm saying from code creator video saying hey there this is a test message and that is how you do a mass dm to, and you can you can even if you have a huge server you can do this and it'll DM every single person on that server it's amazing I know so there you go if now you can mass ping everyone on your server don't do it too much because it can get annoying getting spam DM from bots so don't use it like 
don't use it to, to for the wrong way use it for the right way and that's pretty much it yeah that's how to make a mass ping on discord in 2020 if you enjoyed hit the subscribe button turn post notifications on we'll be posting weekly or maybe even less than a week you'll just have to wait and see and that's pretty much it thank you for watching this video and i will see you next time peace